Hey what up, it's your boy Master Pink and today we're back and we are watching My Hero Academia Season 3 Episode 25 The last episode of this season I think I mean I don't think they're gonna do like oh you know what let's go let's do like 36 episodes or 48 episodes I completely doubt it so I don't know how they're gonna end it last episode we got the start of a new arc apparently I've, I've I've seen some reviews that say you know according to the manga this is the start of a new arc but we also got this like the first half of the episode was like uh what do you call this guys uh, twice that was fucking cool I really like that part of the episode just twice like uh you know walking around town and discussing what has happened after you know the 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 um how do you call this after all might's like true form has been revealed and now that he's not the number one hero the world is acting weirdly you know there's a lot of tense situations because of endeavor there's villains forming groups instead of like being like lone villains they're forming groups like the reservoir or reservoir dogs or something so yeah, but that was really cool. We got uh, twice backstory, and that was fucking cool. He cloned himself, and from that clone, he cloned another clone, and there were a lot of clones. And he forced them to make, to make like he forced the clones to to like do his task because he was lazy as fuck. And then the clones re re like the clo the clones decided, hey, you know what? I don't want to do this, and they rebelled and they killed each other. Except one of them, and now Twice doesn't know if it's the real one or not. Uh, yeah, that was... And then we got, you know, the, the speech by Nesu with the students, and then we got Deku, like, f being left out, or feeling left out. Then, uh, what else we got? We got... The whole... What was it? Shit, fuck. What was the last thing we... So, yeah! Uh, Deku finding, uh, meeting this re random guy while taking out the trash, he faced through the wall and apparently I missed something because someone, I, I mentioned uh, last episode that there was this girl that I thought like in the, in the when they went to the training camp, uh, I thought this girl had the power to like face through stuff because she faced her head up and then scared Bakugo and Todoroki but apparently that was not her quirk, her quirk was something else. And the quirk that made her, like, you know, be able to go into the ground or not, that was the other guy. The guy that looks like he's a, he's a skull. Like, he looks like a skull. I don't remember his name right now, but I know who he is if I see him. Um, so, yeah, that was not his her quirk. That means that this guy's quirk might be just be facing through stuff, but also walking through stuff. Because, like, he never, like, faced... All, yeah, he faced out of the wall. He faced in, like, back into the wall and then he appeared from down so he can maybe walk through walls and shit like really fucking cool that'd be fucking amazing to check and he's a third year or a second year he's an upperclassman and let's just say and he's part of the big three we also learned that the big three are the best like the top three ua students we got this sasuke looking motherfucker this other girl which i don't even know how to like she's she's been she's been <laughs> she's been like i've seen a lot of memes of her looking like some other characters and then Tintin. Or Tintin or whatever you fucking call it. So, we're gonna see what happens this episode. Remember, this is the last episode. Uh, if you wanna check out, I'm gonna be doing Mob Psycho 100 after this show on Saturdays. And before that, this Saturday too, or tomorrow, um, how do you call this? Tomorrow, um, Sunday, I'm gonna be uploading Season 3, Episode 23, you know, Bakugo vs. Deku. Uh, part 2, but in dub. My reaction to the dub episode so that's gonna be cool if you want to watch that you can check it out it's gonna be tomorrow or today at some point so let's fucking go and watch this episode check out my patreon my discord my twitter and my anime list in the description and all the other links i don't know the link to watch crunchyroll to watch this show now let's go oh they're both they're all of all of them are 30 years i didn't check i didn't know that i thought they were just you know someone could be from like second year but no they're okay Last episode, dude. How are they gonna end this? Fuck, let's go. Unrivaled. Okay. Oh, man. Mirio Togat. Oh, I didn't see the name. Fuck. Big three! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kaminari. Target acquired. <laughs> oh, 
my god, Mineta! Uh, yep, that's, that was him. I don't know, his name was... Okay. Oh, you knew about them! Really? What the fuck is naked? I'm a Jiki. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna leave the leaf village! No! What? <laughs> what? So he's really shy? Oh. He seems really shy, dude! Yeah, why is he wearing a mask? Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> ん見るよ。ん君たちまとめて俺と戦ってみろ。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイト。ファイ
permeation. Everything. Okay. He fell into the ground. What? Oh shit, that's fucking cool. Fuck, that's cool. This <laughs> like a bugging game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into a strong What? Oh. Oh. そう、いかなつ<笑><笑><笑> <笑>クリジマ。私が I wonder who it was. Why is that cool? Sir! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your fuck? <laughs> yeah, the media is gonna go crazy if they do that. Oh my- Oh, mom! Oh, no. <laughs> oh! Antonina! <laughs> oh! 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 ま、地味ですね。What? Who the fuck is that? <gasps> Wait! Oh fuck, there's no. He did. Who the fuck is this guy? Damn it, dude, why do they always get better? Oh no! No! Give me that last opening, please. At least give me that ending. I mean, yes! Oh shit, there's like 15 seconds left. What is it? Oh no, it's gonna be young! Oh no! Oh, this season! Oh, become your hero! Oh fuck! Okay, he's being made! Oh no! Oh no! I am the sadness. I am sad. Ah oh, fuck, dude, that's it for this like year, dude. Like, like, doesn't the season start in April? Like every season? Oh my god. Okay, so that was episode twenty-five, dude. Okay. Um, we started the episode, of course, with the big three. You know, talking to the to class one A, and well, 
as you might have guessed, they were gonna fight, which I think if people watched the preview, that was a thing. I didn't get spoiled on that. I kind of just like assumed it. But yeah, they were fighting. And uh, basically, Deku recognized him like last episode, but he didn't realize where he recognized uh, Mirio Togata from. And apparently, he was at the sports festival last year and he saw him because he was naked and he actually wasn't like uh, that, how do you call this, that he didn't get that far into the festival but he recognized him. So yeah, um, we also got Tamako Amo, Amojiki and then we got Neji, Nejire, I, I, I need to make sure, Nejire Hado, that's Hado, okay. And then we got Mirio Togata, Tamako Amajiki, and Nejiri Hado. Okay, so those are the big three. Uh, we're going to introduce them. Um, Amajiki is kind of weird. He tried to replace everyone's head with potatoes. Maybe he got see shy or something. He's weird. I don't know, man. I thought he was leaving the Leaf Village. I don't know what happened. Um, Naruto isn't here to get it. I mean, we have green Naruto and blonde Sasuke. So we don't really... I don't, need, I don't think we need this Sasuke. So, um... Yeah, that was weird. Okay, uh, yeah, and they're all really weird. Uh, Nedry has, no, ne yeah, Nedry has like this weird, like, like, uh, like Kaminari said, like this weird, like airhead personality. And I think that's just an act, maybe. I don't think she'll be that that much of an airhead. She sounds like a tere tere to me. Uh, then we got uh, well, Mirio who tried to make a joke or something, and that was weird. Yeah, they're, they're all of them are weird, and I don't know what's going on. Also. Uh, Nejiri asks to Shoji, like, what happened, why do you wear a mask? And apparently Shoji was, yeah, that's because in the past, and he got interrupted. So something about Shoji's mask. I hope we learn that in the future, because I really fucking want to learn about everyone for Class 1A. Um, then he asked, like, uh, to Mina, if what happens if one of her horns broke? Would it grow back or something? And then he asked about Mineta's balls and to Orjiro uh, if he can hold his own body. It was like a lot of questions. I don't know. That was weird. He wanted to learn about, a lot about people. So, um, Mirio decided, hey, you know what? You all I'm gonna, are going to fight me. And then that that's what they did. They went to um, uh, Round Gamma or whatever it's called. Or Field Gamma, I think it is. And... They fought, that was fucking cool, and fucking Mirio fucking kicked everyone's asses. But Deku actually figured out, hey, you know what, he's gonna come out from behind. And he did, but he's still like, he did a cool move, like an ultimate move. He faced, and of course, faced through the eye, but came like to the eye like this. And if someone comes with a fast speed through your eye, you're gonna be like, what? Close your eyes and like, in like fucking, how do you call this? Like, um... As a reflex, you're gonna get like, you're gonna close your eyes, because you know, you, that, you don't wanna get, you know, <laughs> fingered in the eye. So, uh, that was a move, because he faced through it and then he punched Deku. That was so cool, I like that. That's one of his ultimate moves, which is really cool. Um, he then explained that his quirk is permeation, and I'm gonna watch that scene again uh, to see if I haven't, uh, just to see if I didn't miss anything. So, yeah! So, he basically has one thing that is like he gets repelled. So, he goes underground because his his permeation is like basically he he can go through anything. So that means that when he gets he activates his work, he just falls through the ground. But when he activates it, uh, his body gets his body gets repelled or bounced up again, and that's fucking cool. Um, and apparently, like he said, he cannot hear, see, or feel, and also like breathe. breathe. So that's that's fucked up, dude. Oh man, he basically he's using predictions for everything. That's fucking amazing. He, he cannot when he's underground and when he's like the thing is like he can make parts of his body like you know uh, go through per permeation, but when he uses his full body, that's it. So that's he said like sometimes he just uses he does he permeates everything. From his body except his leg to do like a like a stepping through a wall and shit that's oh man that must be that must be freaky when okay let's just imagine the situation where he found out what his quirk was that must have been traumatizing dude just being like 
uh, I'm four years old, or uh, some people like, uh, like they said, the quirks like um, get like, you can find out your quirk before four years, or like before you're four, or when you're four. I think after that, if you don't have a quirk, it's really weird. It's really rare, like Deku. So, any age between one and four, when you realize what your quirk is, that must be fucking weird. Just a three-year-old falling through the ground and not feeling anything. That's, oh gosh. Okay. But that's a cool fucking quirk. And basically, he predicts everything. So he bounces, he, he, he falls through the ground in a way that when he activates his quirk, and he's gonna get repelled in a certain uh, direction. And he uses that to predict and then fall, go behind him, attack them. That's fucking cool. Um, and yeah, he gave a speech about how he every experience and every death he experienced while, you know, doing the hero work studies and shit. Uh, he used that knowledge into power. So, man, that's fucking cool. Oh, he inspired everyone from class 1A and that was cool. I want to see more of him. I really want to see more of him. Damn. But that's the end of the season, dude. Um, he also said, uh, he, when he was leaving the place, he said, sir, like, uh, I think sir, like with a, with a fucking capital S, sir will, will like him or something like that. I don't know who sir is. Let me see. Let me check if, if I'm, if I'm right. Let me check. Yeah. He said he's someone sir would like, and I don't know who sir is, but then at some point after that. Someone was, was called Sir, and I'm like, hey, that's really similar, that's weird. I don't think his name is Sir, and I think that's just like when you acknowledge someone as, you know, a higher rank in a way than you. Either way, um, Midoriya called Gran Torino again to ask, like, when the work studies are a thing, if they're a thing, because apparently they they have to do, like, a fucking, fucking faculty meeting or something to talk about if we're actually going to do hero work studies, because with all the recent, like, villain attacks and shit, uh, doing work studies would probably freak out the media, the media, like, so much. But if they are a thing, he asked Gran Torino, like, would, would you be taking me in? Because you're the only one that offered me, you know, uh, like, gave me an offer after the festival, which is weird. I still, I still feel weird that no one asked Deku. Or like no one offered to train Deku after the festival. I mean that must have been that, that must have been plot. Cause like yeah, he broke his body. But that doesn't mean okay. Well, I'm not gonna discuss this. That's uh, okay. So he said that yeah, you can use the the people who offer uh, who did the offer. You can you you can also use connections. And oh my, not knows a lot of people like his former sidekick. Then we got this blue girl like. Coming in through the door like, hey, sir, um, the lead, uh, no, this fucking, someone has been moving again, the leader of this gang, Overhaul, and apparently Overhaul is joining the league. Now, the former sidekick, I think that's him, like the fucking, the guy that we saw, like talking to the blue girl, blue girl, I think that's the former sidekick of All, All Might. And... What I'm thinking is, I think I've seen him before. Like, long before when it was, like, season one. I think I saw on Twitter a post of someone saying, Hey, this character in... Uh, he was It was a tweet just explaining this random character in My Hero. I don't think I got spoiled on who he was, so uh, that makes sense. But I think I remember him, even though it was, like, it was, like, two years ago. Basically, I think that's one guy that can see into the future of someone for 24 hours. I must have been a spoiler. I'm, I shouldn't have said that, but still, I'm gonna put a spoiler. You've probably see, seen it already, so there's a spoiler thing. But uh, maybe I hope I edited it. Uh, basically, I think his quirk is like he can see he when he touches someone. I think it is, or when he thinks of someone, he can see like 24 hours ahead of their of their future. He cannot change the future though. He he knows that that's gonna happen, and he cannot do anything about it. And apparently he's scared of touching himself because he doesn't want to know what his future is. I think that's him. If not, that must be someone else in the future. But he looks similar or familiar to what I remember from the picture. <clears throat> then they mentioned someone, something about Shie Hasaikai, which might be just like Overhaul's real name or might be someone else in... The League of Villains or another villain because they mentioned that and I don't think anything came up from it. 
So yeah, Overhaul is gonna be joining the league, probably. And Overhaul seems like a uh, weird and dangerous person. He kind of just melted people into, or like combined people into into that car in last episode. I didn't mention it, but I saw it. Fuck, dude. I'm, oh, man, that's the last season. Okay, dudes, that's, or girls, and everyone, that's My Hero Academia, season three. That's it. Fuck. Okay, make sure to come back next Saturday because I'm gonna be doing Mob Psycho 100. I hope, hopefully, I'll, I'll edit, I'll, I'll record them, but I'm gonna be doing Mob Psycho 100. And uh, today, I'm also gonna be doing, or tomorrow, depending on when I'm, what, how much time I have, I'm gonna be, you know, uh, reacting to episode 23, Bakugo versus Deku, uh, in the dub, because I'm watching the sub normally, but I want to see how the dub did it. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I really enjoyed this season of My Hero Academia. Some episodes were, you know, the love episode was meh. This, the pool episode was meh. You know, they really, some episodes were fucking amazing, of course. Like uh, 3x4, 3x11 uh, or 12, one of the twice, uh, United States of Mesh. 3x23. All of them were fucking amazing. There were also some cool, uh, like, development on characters and shit. So, that was fucking amazing. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on this fucking season. Come back, come back next year on April, because I'm fucking gonna be doing my Hero Academia Season 4. I hope I'm not dead by that point. I hope I'm still doing reactions. And I hope to see you on next year on the next episode first episode of season four come back i do another i do some other shows on this channel so if you like one of those i can i'm doing my made in abyss uh for my dragon brotherhood hunter hunter and i'm gonna be starting mob cycle 100 i'm gonna be doing one punch man uh two or season two whenever it comes out because i don't know when i'm also have a patron where you can suggest shows if you if you uh, if you donate in the in the correct tier of course but uh, you can check out my Patreon and check out the links and, and the tiers to get me money. <laughs> to give me money if you like what I do and you can support me so I can actually do this for a living. Thank you. Uh, thank you for all my patrons. And I'll see you in the next season or in the next video you watch of me. Thank you for watching. Bye.